Hi everyone, I'm Allie Grayman. I'm an OCD recovery coach. On this channel, we talk about how to fully recover from OCD. Full recovery is absolutely possible. I recovered, my clients recovered, and you can recover too. Today, I want to talk to you about distraction versus avoidance. How to tell the difference. The basic difference is when you are distracting yourself properly, which is disregarding, right? Um, you're doing this not from a position of fear. So you're like, whatever OCD, I have better things to do. There's no fear there. You're just saying, I've had enough. I got things to do now. Do you see how I'm not projecting any fear when I say that? Versus when you're like, no, 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 I'm not listening. I got to run away from it. I got to drown out the thought. Now this is avoidance. Now you're doing damage. So are you doing this out of fear, running away out of fear, or are you choosing to move on with your day because you're sick and tired and you have better things to do? So that's the basic difference. And if you are distracting, disregarding, moving on with your day, that is okay. That is normal behavior. That is what we want to do more of. Because what we're, sh we're trying to show your brain is we're trying to show your brain that everything is okay. Everything is normal. Nothing is going on. No need to panic. So we can only show your brain that through action, through acting like nothing is going on, even though OCD is, like I always say, screaming in the middle of, of the room for you. But we have to view it as just noise. It doesn't matter. We go on with the day. And the more you go on with the day, the weaker OCD becomes. I hope you find my videos helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Subscribe if you haven't, if you would like to do one-on-one -on -one recovery program with me. As always, all the information is on youhaveocd.com.